Hello everybody, yes, um, Sandy here, back again. I've had a couple of weeks off. Um, there's been a few deaths in the family over the last uh, six months. Um, and uh, health has just sort of caught up with me. But oddly enough, it's brought me to a time where I've had to really uh, stay still and be silent and uh, work on my health issues, women's issues, which is appropriate for me putting this out before the uh, full moon in Pisces and uh, Virgo. Um, there's a lot happening and um, what I'm uh, going to be basically talking about is the um, revenge of the matriarch uh, throughout history and it's still happening now. So just a quick explanation of the Seraphit tree, which is the Hebrew uh, uh, tree with the male up the top at number one and the female down the bottom at number 10. As above, so below. And the Shekinah was the soul union. That was the, the female. And um, throughout history, <coughs> history, that's actually been uh, depleted or demeaned. So the patriarchal have taken over the uh, Seraphit tree, which was um, really about, it was linked to the evolution of the universe. And that's why I got excited because um, now I'm able to bring in my book uh, this my second book, which is The Soul of Woman Embraces Heart of Man, which is my um, great-granddad's story. This relates to, again, the, the matriarch and the revenge of the matriarch. In the European countries, uh, there was the kings and the queens. And we all know throughout history how uh, it was a class system. And they intermarried. Uh, with England and the European countries, they intermarried and interbred because they just wanted to keep the class system uh, to themselves. But this actually backfired. And so there we get the karma coming through. Um, now, and oh, still keeping on that subject of um, in the European countries, there's the women were in charge of the house and the children. They were given that, that was great. They loved the cooking and they did that. The men had to go out and work and get, bring the money in so that they had the great lifestyle, but they were also entitled to mistresses, which was accepted by the religions of that time. Okay, so just to let you know, that's where the sexuality came in and the women over time used a spells and, mind, uh, and the mind control was... Um, was uh, passed down through the seraphic tree which the women picked up because they're very much in tune so they could use spells and um, and ways and means of getting what they wanted because they knew that the men were out and, and it wasn't uh, not, not all the men hey don't get me wrong we uh, there are good and bad in in every uh, culture but this is just the format that is still passing uh, going through now so then I bring in my book, um, so that's in the ancient times being passed down and then when the colonised countries came out to Australia, uh, that's where I was able to pick up through my great granddad's story and my great great grandmother's story. So when the monarchs came out, they actually uh, wanted to look as if they were doing the right thing. And so the right thing uh, was setting uh, the colonised country up without convicts. So they brought people out from England um, and Scottish people uh, that they would intermarry with the indigenous and so bring that uh, and, and gradually wean um, uh, the uh, black people out. That was the proposed uh, method. But... Um, uh, the odd thing is that um, the Edwards that came out was my great grandmother who married uh, George and that was set up. And so the Edwards just came through recently uh, with another thing that I'm following through. Uh, so just to finish this off before I go on to the next one is that uh, on page 76 of this is relates to my great great grandmother Louise actually using her initiative to think she could see what was happening to the men they were getting shot and hunted down and the children and the culture was being uh, dismantled so she thought I'm going to use my sexuality here 
uh, for survival. And she realised uh, through the Miwi that ge- this the spirit goes on from from at least for at least generation to generation. So she wasn't. Um, um, bewildered by oh this is going to like the uh, white people said this is going to uh, run the the blackness out of our people so we get rid of that she knew that spirit goes on longer than that so that's where the miwi comes in that I'm teaching at the moment or it's out there where anyone can teach it it's just that I've brought it to note uh, uh, through Di Bill's archaeologist uh, writing about our, our people. So from that, um, I'm just going on to what's happening now. Um, and um, it's come to mind about the tunnels. Now, if people don't know about the tunnels, that's fine. You're going to know about them because they're going to come out whether it, if people think it's fiction or what. But um, I've, in the last couple of days, I've uh, got in touch or been in touch with a whistleblower who knows about the tunnels in South Australia. And oddly enough, uh, the tunnels uh, are under in uh, Edwardstown and uh, Glandor. And when you read the true history of it, it's quite uh, very distasteful. So um, I'm uh, going on to that and I'll be... uh, uh, I just needed to get this out. So whether it's allowed to be out there, I don't know. But I will be following this through because this is my destiny. And, uh, and I'll be working with other people to bring the truth out because the truth will set us free. Okay, so that's all for now. Okay.